Chelsea, hurry up. Let's do this quick. Welcome to Movie Marathon Review. I'm Chelsea. And I'm David. And today we have a slew of really great movies um, that we watched and we want you guys to watch too. So um, the first one that we're going to critique was... Mama. <laughs> Mama. So this is a movie produced by Guillermo del Toro but directed by another guy named Andreas Muschietti. Which is really interesting because the style of the movie in watching it, I thought that Guillermo del Toro did direct it. Yeah, the movies that he produces, a lot of them, you know, they're similar styles to his style. Yeah. Well, I really, really liked it a lot. Yeah, that was a great movie. It was so good. Starring Jess, Jessica oh, Chastain. Oh, starring Jessica Chastain. Who's been in like, like 20 movies the last year. I know. And um, Jamie Lannister. The, the Which guy who plays his him. actor name is Nicola Coaster Waldo. Yeah, Waldo. <laughs> Waldo. Where? We'll call him Jamie Lannister. <laughs> Jamie Lannister is much easier, and he does a fantastic job. Yeah, okay. so it's a it's a horror story. Um, it has everything you want and need in a horror story. It has the creepy little I girls. See a horror story, scary, scary movie. movie, scary movie. Not well, it's, it's kind of horrifying too. Well. It's got the little girls, okay. creepy Disclaimer little girls. Disclaimer for people that don't like scary movies. This was a good scary movie. People that don't like scary movies, you can watch this movie. You got it's the scary good. ghost with the long hair. It's not scary like you can't go to sleep at night because you're worried about poltergeist exorcism kind of thing. Well, it could be to some people. Depending on how affected you are by scary movies. It was really great. Um, on an IMDb scale, I am giving it an... Eight stars. I gave it an eight as well. That's as high as The Hobbit. You gave The Hobbit eight stars. Yes, I did. Wow. I thought for a, for a scary movie, this was everything you needed. It was really good. It was... Go see this movie. Okay. Next up, this is 40. Starring Paul Rudd and Leslie Mann. And Judd Apatow's kids. Directed by Judd Apatow. Um, it's a, you know, it's a typical Judd Apatow comedy um, drama. Sort of like a comedy with a lot of depth is what he's he's uh, been known for and he's been doing the last few years. Mm -hmm. And it was funny. I laughed a lot. It was heartwarming. Yeah, I thought it was an okay. I, I thought it was cry. okay. I thought, like a lot of his movies, there are scenes and like sections that are very relatable really relatable and really well done and like uh, some of my favorite scenes in any movie and then this movie though dried down a little too much for me i think it was like over two hours long still Special a really good out. still a really good comedy movie though and i think i maybe judge uh judd apatow a little more harshly than i would other comedians because i expect a lot from him okay so on a scale of one to ten stars imdb rating i gave it a seven I gave it a six. Yeah, a little, a little lower than a little too, his other movies. Too good up toes I. No, I think he's great. I think he is still one of the best comedy directors. Okay, after that we saw The Impossible, which was so 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 great. If you no, haven't I seen it, it. Seen this film? It was okay. The <laughs> we was differ great. on this one. It was so great. Um, I rated it a nine. On IMDb, it's starring uh, Naomi Watts and Ewan McGregor, and I have to say, Naomi Watts probably deserved the Academy Award over Jennifer Lawrence for this film. Even though I'm a huge Jennifer Lawrence fan, again, uh, no, Naomi Watts just like yeah, did an I do amazing, think she did a great job. job. She did a great job. I thought it, I thought it was okay. Like there's um, the tsunami itself and like the whole scene, the setup was really realistic and really well done. And then I sort of feel like the movie, I know this is it was based on a true story and it's found this family, but I feel like they could have branched out and made it a little broader and like, you know, so, and like I feel like the scope of it wasn't realized. I feel like they focused too much on this 
on this but then it, family. If you're wanting to know the scope of it and everything, then you're looking for a different movie. There's a disclaimer in the beginning. It's like this is based on a true story that of a family of what happened to them. This is their turn of events. So that's what the movie was about. Yeah, I think it was. You're wanting like a whole yeah, tsunami think, related, like a bread. Yeah, it's based on like, a true story. This film, this film, and this I family, think it was a little touched, too dramatized, and like it just followed this one family. I felt like. It wasn't, I thought it, it was didn't, amazing. I thought it didn't do the. And I felt like I lived. Justice, I, I lived. So. I felt their feelings, and I lived through it with them. And I thought it was great, and I gave it a nine. I'll give it a six. Average. <laughs> Next movie, uh, Rust and Bone. That was starring Mary Coltiard and another French actor. Ma- Matthias I think, he's a, I think he's. I think he's from Belgium, actually. Oh. But he speaks French. He speaks French. A lot of Belgians do. But it's Matthias. I forgot. I forgot. I looked after. it up after. Um, but he, he, up and coming, you know, European actor. <laughs> it was a good. <laughs> Matthias Schoner. Schoner. Who is a. European actor. And the director directed a movie called A Prophet a couple years ago, and that was one of my favorite movies from a couple of years ago. Chelsea I, hasn't seen it. I didn't see that one. I opted out of that one. That was one of my, a really, a really good film. Um, but yeah, Rust and Bone, I thought, did a good job of giving these characters a lot of depth, and they're mm-hmm. kind of in crazy situations in their life, and it does a good job of building the relationship and, and you know, you start to Marianne feel for Coltiard these And I believe Marion was characters. nominated for an Academy Award for this film as well. Yeah, I believe it. Um, she did a good job. But everyone involved did a great job. So I rated that one a 7. I'll give it a 7 too. And last and least, actually, according to our ratings, <laughs> we saw The Girl, which is a made-for-TV uh, HBO movie about Alfred Hitchcock and the making of The Birds. And this is a very different portrayal of Alfred Hitchcock than um, what we saw in a previous review of the movie, actually just Hitchcock with Anthony Hopkins and Helen Mirren. Well, not just Hitchcock. It was the called title was Hitchcock. Just <laughs> Hitchcock. The title was Hitchcock. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was but saying. it was, yeah, this one, this um, one this was a little darker. Starring, yeah, um, Toby Jones. And Sienna Miller. And it was a little darker portrayal of his personality and the character. And it was still good and interesting, but I oh, think the movie Hitchcock, Hitchcock better, better so, than yeah. The Girl. Some people might know Alfred Hitchcock, his personal life, more than us because we've never read a, you know, a biography or don't really know much about it. I kind of want to now. Alfred Hitchcock, the person. He's obviously... But yeah, these, the last few movies, he's a little... He's a little um, creepier than I thought he was. Yeah. In both or, movies, or... He, he's kind of infatuated with his leading actresses, his yes. starlets. So... But I gave this movie a six. I gave it a five. So, I'll leave you with that. Okay. But if you take anything away from this review, see The Mama. Impossible in Mama. See Mama. And you Rust can and skip Bone. The Impossible. No! Oh my god, stop telling people that. Rust and Bone, though. That was good. See Rust and Bone, too. Rust and Bone, Mama. <laughs> The impossible. Okay. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.